See if I can, I can't even see what I'm eating. Beautiful day in paradise. This morning I'm feeling inspired by Basquiat. It's Sunday, I got the studio all to myself. So we're gonna go over there and work on a, a new piece like this. Okay, we at my studio. Today's Sunday, so we paint whatever we want. This is my favorite way to paint. It's also the most challenging. You kind of explore painting. You're not like in a set direction. It's whatever I'm feeling. I have to reach deep, down, and dark into my darkest feelings. So, let's get to work. We're using a crink marker. They're actually pretty epic markers. Usually use them for graffiti. Sometimes when I start new pieces, I have like, you know, just this feeling that the piece is gonna be epic. That's why I even started filming today. I felt like this piece is gonna have some sort of significance to it, and I'm laying it down. I have no guidelines. This is just a painting I do for me, kind of as therapy. Okay, so this piece is all about layering. It takes a lot of patience. You do one layer, you wait for the paint to dry on that layer, then the next layer. It's fun, but these paintings take months and weeks. So if you're even seeing this video, it'll be months from now. So see you in the future. How long is it gonna take you to finish this painting? Uh, a lifetime. I'm taking a different <laughs> approach to this one. The last one that I painted, I showed you in the studio. I did the Richie Rich and the Monopoly first, just in, in the black lines, and then I started deconstructing it. This one, I'm doing a full color Richie, and then I'll deconstruct from there, and I'll kind of like add the expressive, uh, the expressive brush strokes and colors. But we're still exploring with this style. We haven't really found our own in it yet. For me, I enjoy painting this way the most because it's like free painting. It brings me back to the feeling of being in uh, like art school. You know, I'm trying something new, something challenging, something completely different. I think that's the most important part about being a successful artist. You always have to be changing, you always have to be trying something new, and you always have to be developing your work. You know, a lot of artists get stuck in one genre, and they stay there forever, and, and they can't escape it because they're trying to appease the people. They're making work to please everybody else but themselves. For me, it's about appeasing myself, also a form of therapy, a form of a relief. Okay, we're starting to get the layout going. It's starting to take some kind of direction. We got Richie Rich down there. He's throwing paper airplanes with Money. I don't really know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. Adding some Andy Warhol, Marilyn Monroe's. I'm kind of using the language of cartoons and people's memories to communicate my message in the painting. It's like a visual language of cartoon paper. Okay, so we're gonna move this piece over to my crib. My house is over on the ocean. You know, the studio is a very hectic place. I really want to take my time on this piece. I work on them while I'm looking at the ocean and I'm more relaxed. I've actually had canvases like in my trunk fly away and get run over and then I fix them after getting run over. Home sweet home! Porch is getting his workout today. We made it to the crib! So I got my trusty briefcase. These are some of my favorite paints to paint with. They're, I kind of mix the best of the best with kind of the cheaper ones, because I like the coloring of the cheaper ones. Like, you know, these are cheaper colors here, but they hold and they have nice tones. Purple palm trees, it's like, I just like the way they look, the palm trees. And purple. I'm setting up my palette here for blending. So I start with the dark purple, a little bit lighter. That's why these paints are nice, because you can color match later. Instead of mixing a color, and then you don't know, you can't match it later, so.
So you can see kind of why I like to work on these at home. Sometimes I even just look out at these palm trees and kind of get them, get the shading, get the contrast of the leaves, and use it here on the feet. I really love palm trees. Um, painting them on my pieces. And I just love looking at them in, in general. That's why I kind of, that's why I think I live, I've moved to such tropical places. Growing up in New York, you never see palm trees, but your association with palm trees is thoughts of, you know, warm weather, tropical weather, vacation, the beach, paradise. So, that's why I like putting palm trees on my pieces. There's no real guidelines to this. I'm not trying to paint a photorealistic palm tree by making it purple. It's kind of like just one day me saying, hey, I want to see a purple palm tree. Why, why don't I paint the purple palm tree? That's really what I feel art is. It's kind of a graduation from the last generation to the next. How you liking this one, Alexa? You like it? You love it? She says she loves every single piece that I make. When are you gonna say you don't like it? These paintings sometimes you, you have to work on it, you work on it, you work on it. And then you take a break and you come back and work on it like you need like a couple days. I'm good. Yeah, I'm starving. What are you thinking about eating? Okay, I'm starving. Take a little break. Alexa! What are we cooking here, chef? Okay, so I'm gonna make the apple salad. I have my own little special Alexa favorite, right? Actually, I don't really wanna cook that. I'm gonna have salad. I'll make some Okay, I'm making a special Alec dressing. We're not gonna tell you the ingredients, but then it's not a secret recipe anymore. It's kind of like a like a vinaigrette, but my own little twist. Cauliflower pizza. Wow, what you throw that in? Okay, so since Alexis is vegan, it's rubbed off on me, and I've been <laughs> eating a lot of vegan food now. It's been like a week, almost two a weeks. Week, two weeks. It's been two weeks that I haven't eaten meat or chicken, which is really tough because I love steak, and my best friend is opening a steakhouse, so. I don't know, I feel like when we're here in Puerto Rico, we just like eat super healthy. And then when you go on vacation, it's like all good to shit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the avocados are different than in California. Like in California, they're like, it's like the darker outside, and they're so much bigger in, uh, in Puerto Rico. They're a little softer, too. Which ones do you like more, Alexa? You like the Puerto Rican ones? Yeah, I don't know why. I think the California ones are the best. I hate that brown part. It's gross. <laughs> Never eat the brown Never. part. If it's brown, I won't touch it. It's so true, and it's like it's probably still good. It's just veggie <laughs> wing. I don't know how that started, but I call Alexa veggie wrap. But I say it in a weird way. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. It's, it's not easy going to eat. Yeah, not really. She um, grows out by fish, and she loves animals. I love animals. Like it's just, it's just the right thing to be. But I don't care. I mean, everyone has their own. We got her to try diet. steak, and she felt nauseous. Yeah, I tried steak, and then I don't know. I'm just better off. Eating. So it's rubbing off on me. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. But you, you can. Vegan string cheese. People are gonna see this and probably be in shock. Like Alec Monopoly cooks for himself. And for me. I feel like people on Instagram think I'm like such like a pretentious diva or something. But I'm really not. Let that cheese melt. Hopefully this vegan cheese takes forever to melt. Yeah, what is vegan cheese even made of? Honestly, they're all different. I don't know. This one I'm not sure. You want tofu? Yeah, I'm gonna make some. 
I'm too hungry. Right? It's cheese to melt. People when we eat out at restaurants, they think we're insane. Yeah. I mean, if it's like a private dining experience, I don't need the mask, but a lot of the time, I am wearing the mask. And some people know that all oh, that's Alec over there, and then some people are like, "What's wrong with this guy? Is he sick? Like, what, what, what is he? What's wrong with him?" I mean, I think about showing my face one day. We'll see. Do you think I should continue to hide my face? I don't know. I kind of like it. You kind of like my face, or you kind of like that I cover my face? No, I like that. Like people don't know what you look like. I think it's cool. I kind of wish that I had a mask sometimes. It's so easy taking photos because I'm never w making a weird face. Maybe I'll just. Eat with this top part covered. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat like this. You look crazy. See if I can, I can't even see what I'm eating. <laughs> I didn't want all that on one bite. Have you like done that before? <laughs> I would just get a ski mask and wear the ski mask when I eat next time. Yeah. Because the ski mask has a mouth hole. It's not easy eating vegan, honestly, because like all all the stuff to eat vegan is like mostly carbs. No. So if you're trying to eat healthy like vegan, it's like impossible. Wait, that's not okay. True, no. What not do you impossible. eat that's vegan that isn't carbs? It's all carbs. Vegetables, whole foods. Yeah, I like tofu a lot. I actually have tofu. I don't know, there's yeah, a lot. Yeah, why are we tofu. eating more tofu? I was gonna make some right now. Your your said no. Too hungry. Hot ciggity. Hot sauce makes everything taste good. Enough. Love watching you just like eat food. I don't know how much people will love that. <laughs> I like watching you eat food. <laughs> oh, I feel better. I must say though, when you eat vegan food afterwards, you feel like you feel pretty good. You feel a lot better than. Like if you ate a big cheeseburger after, you're like, Ugh. like this, I can like go back to work. Vegan food is the best. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> no cheeseburgers. Only vegan burgers. Damn, we gotta move that painting in because the hurricane's coming. When is it coming tomorrow or Thursday? Do you even know? The hurricane's coming tomorrow. I think, I hope. <laughs> I hope not, actually. I don't, I mean, I hope it doesn't hit, but it will be interesting. Vlogging the hurricane. <laughs> hurricane vlog! We charged up our batteries. I have every single battery in this house. Battery pack. What are those things called? Chargers, portable chargers. Yeah, we got, we got batteries for days. Crackers? No, we don't. No. We don't eat carbs. No. Wait, what? <laughs> what's gonna happen if we can't even like? We have beans. We have beans. Yeah, we yeah. need the crackers. Go get them. Zoom I put in all the way into the skin. Skin hair with me. I got him. Okay, let's move this painting inside before the hurricane hits. It's weird, you can feel like the calm before the storm. It's like, usually the, it's super windy here and rough, but right now like the sea is like kind of calm and like the wind is low, so you can tell the storm's coming. My favorite view is over here. Every morning I wake up and I look out at the view. I have a coffee. Think about how grateful I am. How happy I am to be here. Grab this bag. Oh. Alright guys, thank you for tuning into my vlog. This is part one of, uh, of a series because this painting is going to take a long time. So we'll probably do a couple of vlogs of progress. And thank you for tuning in. What am I supposed to say Alexa? <laughs> I forget every time. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you from there. Okay. No, but what am I? Okay. Thank you for watching my. Watching my channel. Okay. This is Alec Monopoly. Thank you for watching my channel. Tune into my vlog every week. We're gonna have new videos. We're gonna be putting up a lot of videos in the beginning, just to be more popular. So, uh, you know, click subscribe and stay tuned because we're gonna vlog the hurricane. The hurricane from right here. Oh, they're drinking the water. Oh, come on! You guys can serve the water. Just drink from the tap for now. This is all we have for the Alright guys.